So here I am today with my assistant, right Zachary? And I'm thinking of working on this patch again. So as you can see, this is a, this is a bare spot. Well, not bare, it's a, a spot that has no top dressing. And this is mainly because I was planning to fill it up with elegance. As you can see, there's quite a few elegance already, but there's still a lot of blank spots in between. So, imagine the joy seeing that some of my elegance, the pups on some of my elegance have already grown and are pushing further out away from the parent plant. I'm thinking of separating this ones, but maybe not that one for now because it's so symmetrical. You know, it's so lovely. It's a shame to destroy it right now. So... I'll just do this one and maybe have a look around and see if I have other elegance that are ready to be separated. Bless you, Zaki. <laughs> I have another clump of elegance right here. And as you can see, there are lots of pups being thrown out. So, pups galore. I was thinking that maybe some of them could be harvested now and it's generally well I think this is a good idea because if I remove some of them this this gives some of the smaller ones some space they could still grow without being distorted or deformed so I'm thinking of harvesting some of them the ones that I think are large enough so I can use it in my in the other spot for the landscape there's a few here that I want to use like this one I've been observing it for the past few weeks hoping that this is not a flower stock and from the looks of things might actually be a pup because the center isn't elongating and it has been growing large for quite a while so maybe it's almost safe enough to declare that this is a pup. And because I think it is a pup, I'm going to harvest it. So as you can see, it has a stalk, it has a long stem. And I'm going to cut as high as I could go, just leaving a small stub. This is exactly the same as how I, uh, how I did the ones from the swaps I got a while ago so let's see how it goes I think I'll have to remove some of the leaves because it's hard to get the vantage point there so one down So these ones here are also ones that I want to use because they are at the edge and it's easy to pick them off. How will I approach this? Maybe start with the outer one. Just remove the outer leaf. This. And just reach. Okay. An 
another rosette so that makes two now I'm going to work on this one next in line might need to remove one of the leaves for better access so that's what I'm going to do no wait I think I don't need to do it I could just chop directly I have to go from another angle though and here we go number three should I still go for this maybe I should because it's crowding between the two two large ones and it won't have enough space to grow so let's just see here is there a space i can get into maybe in this side i need to remove one leaf so yeah i'll go from here And there's four. The others seem quite small for now. But I'll have another good look. I'd like to think that these ones are ready, but I think I'll let them grow a bit more. So maybe next week. Or the week after that. So I'm back to this spot and I was thinking of separating this small clump. Maybe I'll start with this one. Do I need to remove a leaf? I don't think so. Will it fit though? And... Yes. So one leaf, I had to sacrifice one leaf, but it's all right. So one, I'll get the lower ones as well. So that's two. two so far this one is still too young I think I could I could use this because it's about the same size as the, the one that I plucked out so this is a third now this one is definitely small so I'll check the other side this one I want to get this but it's quite hard to reach I might have to use my fingers yeah. so sometimes I use my fingers and what I do is I just hold the stem and keep pulling on it what happens here is that I get to pull it out, detach it from the, the main stem. So the end cut is already dry as you can see. Yeah. Yes, that. There's three there. Be careful. Anyway, as I was saying, when I use my fingers, I carefully pluck it out from the main stem. And as a result, I get a clean cutting and there's no... Well, the wound is already dry because this is uh, uh, detached from the main node. I generally do this when it's hard to reach, without hard to reach with my secateurs. But since I'm doing landscapes, I, I will still have to chop this, make it shorter, because I need to work with a stub. Otherwise, it's hard to stick the the elegance in. 
there's one more here and I'm going to lock it out with my fingers again so I just need to get some leverage I'm looking for where the stem is and I think I found it it's over here I'm not sure if the phone will give give you a better view of what I'm doing so I'm not doing this by sight I'm just doing this by touch so as you can see or if you could see it I'm holding the stem with two fingers and I'm just wiggling it gently hoping to get all the way to the tip where it's connected to the node but it looks like this one is not yet dry I'm trying to pull it out and there it's not as dry as this one as you can see it's still quite green and fleshy but otherwise this this does not look like uh, a cut using secateurs it's still fairly callous so there's no open wound when you pull this way but then again like I like I was saying a while ago I'm going to chop off the stem anyway because I need it to be short for landscaping there's a few more pups here that are left on this plant but I think I'm going to leave them here for now because they're still quite small and I would want them to continue growing first so let's leave it at that I'm looking at this once again and I think they're larger than the ones that I hand plucked just now so maybe so maybe I'll go ahead and pick them off because I see one two three maybe four these four are big enough so yeah I'm going to pluck them manually so maybe I'll start with this one if I can get a good hold a good grip on the stem then I'll do it but if not I'll wait a bit more for it to grow so steady nope I didn't get a clean cut but this is about the same this is about the same spot that I would have cut with my secateurs anyway oh well next one I have to be more careful this time yep same result they're quite fleshy so that might be the reason why I think I can get at, get at them with my secateurs now so I've cleared enough space so chop and chop four more I think there's a few more here that I could use so I'll try plucking them out hopefully I get a clean cut but otherwise I don't really mind no I don't think I can get a clean cut here how about this one nope no luck there I guess I'll leave them for now despite not being able to pluck some of them out I still managed to gather quite a lot and I have 13 here 
Lucky 13. Bob. I guess I'll go and just plant them around now. There's some of them here with really long stems. So what I'm going to do is to trim them. But before I do that, I'm going to harvest some of the leaves. Harvest the lower leaves. Because I might still be able to use them for propagation. Okay, so time to chop this. And here's the next one. Just removing the lower leaves so I get a better view of the stub. Of the stump, I mean. No, I don't think I'm going to trim this anymore. How about this one? Yes, I'm going to trim this. How about the others? There's this one and I might need to remove this. Same with this going to remove some of the lower leaves are there any more this one remove the lower leaves Okay, I got it. How about the rest? I might need to remove this. One more. There. The rest are okay. No, not this one. The stub is too short. So, remove some leaves. One more. Okay, this is good enough. So, the reason why I remove some of the lower leaves is so that I can expose, uh, expose a bit more of the stem which allows me to plug them a lot easier in the loose soil because so otherwise if it's just laying flat then it won't have a good hold on the soil so it will just be blown away by the wind and it can get quite windy here so I think it's time for me to start planting I'm just loosening up the soil and plug I'll keep, I'll keep doing this on every blank spot that I can see so I can fill up the gaps maybe here this spot
Okay, where else? Here? And here? And one more. Let's have a better look. Maybe somewhere up up here. And we're done. I've been picking off the pops on the elegance. Maybe I'll have to do the same soon for this agavoides. But I'm going to leave them there for now so they would grow faster. You must be wondering why I planted them immediately after cutting when there's usually the, the general rule of letting them callus at least a day before. Well, it's because in my climate, it's not too humid and it's spring now, going summer. We, our humidity is only usually high when it's winter. And according to the forecast, there's not going to be, there's no chance of rain for the next few days. So there would be enough time for them to dry out before any rain comes. So I'm not really concerned and I can do it straight away. So I'm basically just taking a shortcut. Of course, this might be different in your climate, so do your own tests and see what works for you. And as for all of these elegance, I'm going to plant them into the landscape. So this is my chance to fill up more of the gaps.
I think I'm finally satisfied with the elegance in this area. I've got a lot of elegant stumps. I'll just move this to a lighter area. That way, this will not burn. And in addition to that, I also have a lot of leaves. Leaves that I could use for propagation. So I could make more next time. I might add a few more here, but those would be coming from my propagations once they're once they're ready. I still don't have the heart to break this one up. <laughs> I don't know, I'll just leave this for a while. It looks pretty. <laughs> 